Fantastic. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Go with John 8, verse 32. We've been lied to. And really, it's, it's been happening for hundreds of years where they've taken our Bible, our book. The Bible is a history book, and they've used our history book as a way to enslave the masses. That's why you have so many religions off of the same book. You have the, the same Bible that's in your church, right? That's in your home, that's in hotels. But then they create all these different religions. You have Christianity. You have Mormonism. You have Jehovah Witness, right? But they all, they all claim to say, uh, that they read the same book. So if they're reading the same book, how are they all coming to different conclusions? That's what we're here to do is to bring the truth behind what's going on in the Bible, right? Go ahead and read. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're going to learn the truth, the truth about who you are first. Because you go into any of these churches, any of these religions, they're not going to tell you the truth about who you are. That the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we are one nation of people. That we are the children of Israel. That's right. Read. And the truth shall make you free. The truth about who you are is going to make you free from the lies that we've been taught. At, would you be called a, nowadays an African American? That's what they call us, right? Where does the term African American come from? You don't know, you don't know. Slave trade. You look at uh, the, the continent in Af Africa, right? It was named after Leo Scipios Africanus, which was a white man that conquered that, that continent. You have America, named after a white traveler named Amerigo Vespucci. So when we call ourselves African American, we're really saying that we're named after two white men. We took on those last names, right? It's the same when you went into slavery, you brought up slavery, right? When, when the slaves were sold to a slave owner, how did you get your last name? It was from that slave owner, right? So you were working for Master Jackson that you took on Master Jackson's last name, right? And the generations after that. So now we're giving our children last names that came from the men that had us in slavery, that did this to our people. Bring it over. You look at, you look at all of this. Who did this to the so-called black men? The Europeans did, right? So the Europeans, they enslaved our people. They put us in chains. They raped our women. They literally destroyed us they whipped us you look at look at the signs you see they put us on the bottom of slave ships as cargo right they did all of this to our people destroying us not worrying about what they were doing and they were doing it to god's people right read that again the book of john chapter 8 verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so today what we're doing is we're coming out and teaching the truth behind the bible did you know that slavery was in the bible you did? Say it one more time. Okay. Okay. What else you what else have you heard about slavery in the Bible? Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I want to show you real quick what the Bible has to say about slavery, right? And I want to I want to go into. Do you think God allowed this to happen? Was God okay with this? You don't think He was okay with it? Okay. Do you think anything goes on in this earth without God's approval? Say it again. You think God doesn't allow it to happen? Who's in control? Is it man in control or is it God in control? And I'm a, I'm a, these are good questions. These are good questions. What's your name, brother? Andrew? Okay. Officer Tobias? Uh, what was your name again? Kel Kelton. And uh, Rome. All right. Rome, Kelton, Andrew. All right. Go ahead and read. I want to show you what the Bible has to say about this, right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says it's going to come to pass. It's going to happen. If you don't listen to what God has to say, right? How do we listen to the voice of God? Does God just talk to you? I, I've been seeing people on the street saying God talks to them. Does God really talk to you? God doesn't talk. So how do we hear the voice of the, of the Lord our God? Kelton, how do you hear God? Where, where's God's voice? Where can it be found? Faith, where can God's voice be found? Through other people? What about the Bible? We, we're hearing God's word right now, right? That's what they call it, it's God's word, right? So the Bible is where we hear God's voice. I may be speaking, but these are not my words, right? So this is God's words. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the prophecy was, it's going to happen if you don't listen to God's words and do his commandments. As it was commanded to us, the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, this day, this was Moses talking to Israel. You guys are familiar with Moses? Okay, all praises read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said all of these curses were going to come upon the children of Israel if we didn't listen and do his commandments, right? Go to verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So he said these curses were going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. So when you're going down the street, right, and you need to get to McDonald's, how do you know which building is the McDonald's if you've never seen it before? The sign, right? The sign is going to tell you what that building is. If I'm walking up down this street, how do I know that this is a church right here? You see that sign right there, right? So the sign is going to show you what you're looking at, right? So God was saying, you're going to see all of these curses on the children of Israel as a sign. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Just back then. Upon thy seed forever. So this was going to come upon the children of Israel and their seed forever. If they broke God's commandments, these curses were going to be upon us, right? So I want to show you one of those curses, verse 68. Because when we look at this right here, I asked you, did, was God okay with this? Because the same thing that happened to the so-called African Americans, the blacks, right? It happened to the, the Native Americans. It happened to the so-called Mexicans. They were, what, what's your nationality? Navajo? What land are we standing in right now? Who, who owned North America? The Native Americans, right? So who conquered the Native Americans? Okay, this is the so-called white man, right? Because they're not white, they're red, right? That's right. They, they got pigmentation in their skin. They try to claim that they're white because they think white is pure. But they're not white, they're red. You ever heard of Redskins? Rednecks? Right. So you look at, you look at this right here. The white man, so-called white man, conquered the Native Americans. Who conquered and put the so-called black man in slavery? Was it the, the Chinese? Did they do that most recently? Who was Master Charles back in the day? Who? It was a European man, right? So the same, the same people that conquered the Native Americans and took their land, they did this to us as well, because we are the same people. That's right. We are the same people. We are the children of Israel. Right. So you look at this right here. I asked you if God was okay with this, did God allow this to happen? I want to show you in the Bible the, the Native Americans as well as the so-called Native Americans as well as the so-called African Americans. Go ahead and read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible said one of these curses was the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again. You got Exodus 20 and 2. He was going to bring us into Egypt again. You heard of uh, Moses delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt by God, right? So we never walked or went back into Egypt after we delivered, right? So he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again. The Bible's a dictionary. I want to show you what it's meaning. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for bondage, captivity, slavery. So you go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery again with ships so how did the so-called african americans get to america 
with ships. You see the ship right here. We were packed like sardines on the bottom of a slave ship. Brought from the Eastern Hemisphere all the way over here, right? We didn't come over here on a, on a cruise ship. We weren't sipping margaritas. We were literally being, being shackled in chains. Many of us died from drowning trying to escape. We had people dying from their own vomit on the bottom of these ships, right? So God said one of these curses was he was going to bring us into Egypt or slavery again with ships. Read. By the way whereof, I, just like I told you, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. So once we got off those ships, what did they do with us? They sold us. $500 to Master Charles to the right. You got, you got slave owners buying the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We were sold to these other nations, right? Now, like you said, it's the same nation of people that conquered us, the Europeans, right? You got the, uh, the conquistadors or the Spaniards. They conquered the so-called Hispanics. The same thing with the Native Americans. We were conquered by the same people. And this wasn't too long ago. They tried to tell us to forget slavery because they don't want us to remember who we are. Right. We walk around down the street thinking that we just, Christianity tells us to love everybody. And all this does, all this church is doing is destroying our people. That's right. The mentality that we have. Because we think that God loves everybody. We forget that we have an enemy. Because that's what he called us, right? Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So we were sold, not to our friends. Friends don't put friends into slavery. We were sold to our enemies. When you're at war, you have to know who you're fighting to be able to fight back, right? But, but the religions nowadays have us thinking that we should be comfortable in a land where we were brought as slaves, where we live to this day as slaves. The so-called Native Americans, you guys were conquered. Your land was taken from you. You were forced on the reservations. And now you walk around, you see most of the Native Americans at bus drops drunk because they know what's going on right now is not right. How am I in a land that was ours, but I'm on the bottom of society? Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.